Hey guys, Satyajit Patnaik here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be talking about the latest Microsoft updates. Now, Microsoft has recently given a statement that their DA100 examination is going to be renamed to PL300. What are the exact changes? Why there has been a change of name from DA100 to PL300? What are the exact changes in terms of examination, in terms of preparation and how is it going to impact you? Everything will be covered in this video. Make sure to like, like, share and subscribe the channel and see you in the video. Hi, in this video, we shall be talking about the latest Power BI certification updates. Well, few days back, I created a small shorts informing about the change that's going to happen. But in this video, we shall be focused more on what are the changes, how the changes are going to be impacted in the market and how is it going to impact you. So Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate, how many of you have seen this badge? I'm pretty much sure many of you have seen this. Many of you might have seen on LinkedIn as well. People are posting about it because it's one of the renowned certification exams for data analysis right now. And of course, it is given by Microsoft. And coming from Microsoft company, we know that it's valuable, right? So is this examination really important? If yes, what are the pros? Else, what are the cons? We'll be talking about that in a separate video. But in this video, we shall be focused more on what the changes are. Now, exam DA100 is going to retire on March 31st this year, 2022. But what will happen when the exam retires? Are we not going to have this exam at all? Well, there are minor changes to it. What are the changes? Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst, which was earlier called as Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate. It's now going to be Power BI Data Analyst. Why? We don't know why the changes are happening, but the exam is going to be renamed from DA100 to PL300. On Feb 28th, 2022, the Data Analyst Associate Certification DA100 will be renamed to Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Analyst Associate. The exam will be available on Feb 28th. So the new exam is going to be available on Feb 28th and the old exam retires on March 31st. So you still have some time. In case you are preparing for DA100, you can still be prepared. What are the changes in exam PL300? We'll talk about that in the next slide. Now what's going to happen? Many people are confused. Many of my students are confused as well. There are some comment section. There are some comments in my comment section. People have asked about it, sir. Why don't you create a detailed video explaining about the changes? Now, if you already have a DA100 certification, nothing to worry about. Your name will be renamed in your dashboard after Feb 28th. Automatically, you will see the changes in the dashboard. So in case you already have a DA100 certification, nothing to worry about. You will automatically have your new certification name in your dashboard and it's recommended to use the new name in your resumes as well. If you are preparing for DA100 exam right now, you can still prepare. No worries because the last date to take the exam is 31st of March. After that, automatically your name will be changed to PL300. Nothing to worry about in the preparation phase. If you haven't started preparing and you are planning to prepare, that's where PL300 comes into picture. You have to consider what are the prerequisites for that particular exam. See, honestly speaking, there no, there's not going to be a lot of changes. So please ignore on the screen. You can see PL200, but it's PL300, a typo. Uh, so if you haven't started preparing for D100, now you are starting to prepare, you can prepare PL300. Go to their link, check out what's going to be the prerequisite. Honestly speaking, there's not going to be huge differences in the exam structure. Okay, so between Feb 28th and March 31, learners can pass either exam to earn their Power BI Data Analyst Certificate, certificate 
uh, certification basically now the question is who should appear for this exam who are the target audience for this particular exam whether this exam is good or not what are the pros and cons i'm preparing a separate video for that in case you want to get notification whenever that video is created please subscribe to my channel and make sure you are putting down some comments in the comment section below in case you have any questions so that i can revert back to you immediately now coming back to the topic who should appear for this exam anybody fresher experienced looking out for a job change in data analytics in data science started learning power bi anybody who has data analytics in their career path or learning that or have already learned they can appear this exam if you are a data analyst or business user who uses power bi to help your organization maximize the value of its data assets they can take if you want to demonstrate more skills and experience in power bi you should consider appearing for this exam yes if you are looking to grow your career as a data analyst with microsoft technologies trust me microsoft is growing microsoft azure power bi these are the tools that are taking the market right now so it's a very good decision if you are going for this exam you should consider appearing for this exam how to renew your microsoft certification there is a small step you can renew it and other certifications by microsoft by passing a free renewal assessment on microsoft learn anytime within 6 months before the certification expires this is the link how to renew your microsoft certification i'll provide this pdf file as a deliverable of this video as well in case you still have any questions i will recommend you to comment down so that i can reply you back comments are very important guys trust me because as a youtuber getting likes getting comments and getting subscriptions is one of the toughest job if you feel even 1% that i and my contents are making some difference in your life i would definitely recommend you to like share and subscribe the channel and please comment on all my videos that you see on your wall okay now this is a link which you can use for a free renewal assessment it's free of cost these are some of the important links as well information about da100 about pl300 and about the certification renewal that's all about this particular video in a nutshell if you ask me in one line there is no changes in the exam structure even if there are some changes there is going to be very few changes okay there is only the name change from da100 to pl300 that should not be a huge impact in your journey so i'm pretty much sure this exam has nothing to do with your preparation keep preparing keep learning about data analytics and become a data analyst and become a certified data analyst with microsoft as soon as possible that's it from my side thank you see you in the next video